the guys at the desk. Thank you, gentlemen, Ed, Ed Crumbs. Talk to me, man. How are you feeling after that game? I mean, <laughs> that was <laughs> over a kill a minute for EDG alone. I mean, come on. That was, that was nasty. That should have been censored. I'm sorry. What? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Shibi, I want to give you a moment to respond to this. Defend yourself and your Fnatic pick. Well, I was thinking throughout the game, please make it stop after like <laughs> 20 minutes. Um, but Fnatic seemed to have fun at least. I think Hoodie, oh. when he took the blue buff and they took the entire base, he was smiling. And fun will get fun. too far. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we also broke the curse of the anti-profit, which I'm, you know. There you go, the upsides here. Congrats here. Thank I'm you very loser. much. I'm that a good loser here. All right, one and four spawn. How are you feeling? One and three. Let's not go. One th one, we made three predictions yesterday. You were wrong on all of them. Yeah. Correct yeah. today. So uh, yeah. one, oh, sorry. One, one, uh, one of four. four. One yeah. of four. One sorry. of four. American accents. I get I get a little bit confused sometimes. But that that was a pretty typical EDG game. I like what they hit on there, though. There was actually a layer to that game that not a lot of people would have picked up on, and that is Def's Callista. Because he doesn't play it. He was much more around the Corkies, around the Jinx, getting himself going. Even pulled the Cogmore out a little bit more than the Callista. And they are trying to turn it into a band. They don't want to have to play against it. We saw already that they don't do well against that pick, so they're just trying to get it removed from the board, but without having to ban it. I was disappointed in Fnatic's draft by locking in the early Z. Like, why are you doing this right now? You see the LeBlanc locked well, in early. He got actually his solo kill. Uh, oh, oh he was <laughs> obliterated in lane, but let me explain to you why. They lock in the LeBlanc early, and you're like, okay, LeBlanc's coming out. You can just save your last pick, judge the entire team comp, and then decide if you want an assassin or not instantly lock in the Zed as to some sort of challenge. Like, yeah, I'm up to the challenge. I'll take the Zed LeBlanc matchup. Guess what? Lock in the Maokai. Maokai is not very good against Zed in a team fight. And to top things off, the sapling strategy with giving the first three camps of the Wraith camp with LeBlanc. So you put two saplings down, get the distortion over the wall. You're going to get destroyed in lane. And that's exactly what happened. Trading one for one doesn't matter when you're down 30 CS. We will jump back into this conversation, Sheepy. I'll let I you have your time to for your rebuttal. Here. But now for a word with the member of the victorious Edward Gaming. Let's check in with Shocks in the interview lounge. Thank you very much, uh, Dash. I'm joined here by Deft on the victorious EDG. Whew, what a performance that was, Deft. Tell me about you guys' picks and ban strategy and especially making sure that you got your hands on that Callista. 이번 경기 뱀픽에 관해서 좀 듣고 싶은데요. 특히 칼리스타 선픽이 되게 인상적이었어요. 좀 설명 좀 해주세요. 어 지난번 SKT 전에서 제가 뱅 선수한테 칼리스타를 주고 좀 많이 당했거든요. 그래서 저도 할수 있다는 걸 보여주고 싶어서 골랐어요. During our match against SKT yesterday, we had a very hard time against Bang's Kalista. So I want to show that I also can do that. Well, you definitely showed it. You guys were very aggressive. And so was Fnatic. Were you surprised at all at the level of aggressiveness that that team showed? The Fnatic team is very aggressive in the game. How did you get to the aggressive play style? The aggressive style is more aggressive than the other Chinese teams. So I was very surprised at that. Uh, the Chinese team back in LPL were much more aggressive, so we weren't that surprised. And uh, totally prepared, I can imagine. You guys are fighting or are doing very well on the group to get out of groups here. You're up against TSM a little bit later. What kind of EDG will we see? Will we see the EDG we saw versus SKT or the EDG we saw just now? Oh,ilkan,choiga,choi,timi,saranange,line,jon,lil,tan,igigo,ke,patang,ro,kulin,ol,saral,ani,line,jon,i,kangyok,keso,ke,ol,patang,ro,igin,ol,saranange,oje,
Thank you, Shocks. Before we jump back to uh, Sheepy and his defense for Febivin, I do want to throw out a couple of the statistics here that we saw backing up the strength of the laners here. Pawn up 20 CS at 10 minutes there. Deft 4-0-1 with a 50 CS lead by 12 minutes. And then on the side of Steelback, Steelback is one of those uh, fanatic players that really needs to step it up this tournament. He, going into this game, averaged 21 uh, CS differential down at 10 minutes. At the end of this game, he's now averaging 27.3 below his opponent in lane at 10 I mean, minutes. For that game, though, the statistic about middle isn't necessarily valid just because of how big of an advantage the three Wraith camp, uh, Raptor camp? Yeah, the three <laughs> Raptor camp gives you. Just because you can hit level two off the first wave allows you to crush the lane. So if it was an even matchup, maybe it would have swayed the other way. Yeah. Other thing I think teams need to really look at from this game is that Pawn is a distraction and Deft is a carry. Pawn is like dancing around. You saw he even went for the solo kill over the wall into three people. He literally looks like he has the funnest job in the world because he's backed up by Coral and Deft who do all this damage. And he just tries to annoy the heck out of people until Deft's at a point where he's like, okay, now I'll team fight games under control. I feel that was pretty much what happened in this game. They went for those really aggressive plays and actually came out ahead and I think that was some kind of outclass and it was definitely not pretty for Fnatic. Uh, things got pretty close, for example, for the top lane gang where he almost <laughs> killed. Uh, nah. <laughs> Well, at the, at, the, at the end of the day, it did seem as though both teams were coming at each other as we expected with the same exact yeah. strategy. EDG coming out on top of every engagement in those early game brawls. And when you're, when you're leaving every engagement, one or two kills up, eventually that lead becomes insurmountable. And if you look at the team comp, they had a mid-game centric team comp with Zed supposedly split pushing at some point and Drumble and Lucian, who's more like mid late. Uh, carry and I think it just didn't work out. They fall so far behind. They went for those skirmishes. They actually did pretty well, but we're so far behind that you know, I want to hit one more thing real quick. This was a pretty big loss here for Fnatic. Now they're one and two. So going into the remainder of the day, what are they learning from this game, and how are they keeping them their you know their mentality out of the dumpster after the, the very first game of the day? I think they have to keep their their emotions out of the draft. Like you have to be really analytical and think about what it means to lock in an early assassin pick when you don't have to. Just focus on building the structure of your team and then put the carries in later. Only a champion like Callista is it really worth picking early because she offers a lot of utility. You're not going to lock in that really early carry champion unless you're Faker. But then they LeBlanc. first picked Callista, so... Exactly. Like, yeah. these guys are really, really good at these champions. Otherwise, like, especially when you haven't seen the top lane champion, like, it's very difficult to play against yeah, that mid lane. All right, well, we are one game in. we got to move on. There's one game down, and there's no slowing down at this point. Coming up next, the North American Champions Team Solo Mid will face the LMS's AHQ Esports. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Love me like you do. No, no, no. Love me like you do. You know that this will go on Reddit, right? Ah, no. Uh, sorry. It's, it's not record. Daft on Kalista can just get out of that late crowd control, quickly bouncing What's back. Do it? Now the hook from Mako, and he can't get any help from Steelback. Gabe to build Warrior Enchanted. Oh, another one. <laughs> oh, oh that oh, no. wall, buddy. Trying to do some work, but he gets destroyed oh, by Steelback. Pawn, and Steelback <laughs> finds his way into the fight eventually. And Koro, why are you not dead? Doesn't even give the assist to Daft as Rain over. He's going to try and tunnel out. Koro with the twisted advance. Destroyed! Holy <laughs> shit! Oh, look at this! Why do you, why do you love this? <laughs> so Man, that was a disgusting performance from the Chinese. <laughs>